Oh my god. Ah. See, look at the time. I can't believe you're still sleeping up to now when you know we have a morning quiz to attend to. Nelson yesterday night, man, to warm the bad boys' bed, man. Steve-o! Yeah. Mommy, 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 you missed. The party was interesting. The party was hot and explosive, man. There were guys from Absu, Unical, Uniport. Man, the vibes were out of this world. Come and see DJ Master Lee. The guy was just scratching, man. I was just scratching and moving. That was bad. I didn't enjoy it. Hey, see? Why are you staring at the girl now? As if you've just seen the Queen of England. Nothing, nothing. It's just that she reminds me of something. Anyway, come, let's go. So like I was saying now, the party was deep. It was great. The vibes made the DJ's pastor. was too good. Okay, keep a smile. Take it. One, two. Good. One, two. One, two. Yes. Okay, so ready like ready. Um, by this evening it will be ready. I'll come back by six. Uh, okay. 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 Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye. Girl, you took a picture here. Ah, Steve, oh, you know I can't do that now. Now, Steve. Come on, now. She won't like it. Who's going to tell her? She won't like it if she, she, she happens to know you have. Nobody's going to tell her. Besides, I'm going to pay 300 naira, one copy. Jesus Christ, man. You do like money, oh. Otherwise, I won't give it to you. I'm going to say you're my friend, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's first now. I'm sorry, I'll give you the picture of one hotel. Okay, bye bye. Everybody knocks on that door. Do not open it except for me. Okay? Let me see you. Are you alright? I'm very okay. Oh my god, what is this rubbish? I've been out here knocking. Sorry, I've been sleeping. You know my door is a jam lock. I've just banged it and the keys are inside. It's okay. I guess we have to hang on outside. Oh yes. I won't send you for some weeks. Oh, I 
I traveled, my, my mother was ill. So I, I why don't you go and wait for me at Chidima's place while I either try to get a carpenter or borrow a cloth from my friend and I'll meet up with you there. Yes. Yes. I'm sure. Of course, I'm sure. My neighbor's sister, she's gone. I thought you said it was a man. Yes, I thought the same too, but I found out it wasn't him. Hello? Oh, come on, it's okay now. Uh, she's gone. Come on, let's go with her business. This whole thing is becoming too much. It's as if you're possessed or something. Can't you learn to stick to your own girl? Of course I love my girls. He changes women like tissue papers. He really knows how to handle them. Nelson, can't you just learn to love, cherish, and trust one girl? So that what will happen? Tell me, so that what will happen? Listen, Steve, man. If you don't chase that girl, someone else will definitely chase her. So the game is, the first, the better. Me, I play first, and that's the way it wins. I can't believe Florence and Sandra were fighting over you. Oh, come on, man. Don't be surprised. Those girls are coming back to me tomorrow. They'll come back to you. Man, you're totally reckless, irresponsible. Can't you just stay with a girl, one girl? Oh, look, I used to do that when I was much more younger. I mean, it's a thing that, like, uh, wow. Whoa. Check out those girls. I think I think they I used to see them around this campus. I think they are new students. The problem is the three of them are always together. Nice. So what about that? They are three, we are three. Three caught three. So watch me. Hi. Excuse me, guys. What's up? Hi. You guys in the school. Yeah, we are. I just can't believe. 
Some girls just thought about get this guy at his house, and here he is chasing after other girls. Take him to my place. My parents travel and we'll be back on the That tomorrow. is not the point. I have a comment. Ah, how are you in chemistry? Yes, what's so? The point is that this guy has to learn to stick to one girl. Just one girl. You don't know Nelson at all. You don't know Nelson. Do you want to meet my guys? Hey, you don't have anything. Snap your right. Come on, let's go. Yo. Uh, hi, guys. Uh, meet Susie here, Becky, and Victoria, right? Hello. Hi, guys. Charlie and Stevie are the guys in charge of uh, Hostel at the Students' Affair. Oh, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you're welcome. Oh, Charles. This whole place is boring. Sure. Why don't we just go home? I, mean, you know? I think I have some hostel allocations to do. Most of you are not like this. Most of you are not like this. Maybe, maybe. Don't fuck up my rooms. This is not my rooms. Okay, it's your rooms. Then do it alone. Why don't you do it alone? Come with me. Come with me. Oh, okay, girls, we go. Sure. We're not the guys in charge of hostel allocation. Why do we have to lie to those girls? You tell them what they want to hear to get what you want. Simple. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go.
What's your name? Girl, I've told you my name a million and one times. But Becky. Sorry, Becky. Uh, uh, do you do you like food? You know, I, I like football. I especially uh, spy goals. You know, there's this match they play with uh, Argentina. I don't like football or any other sport. Sorry, uh, I. Uh, this rush to come back today, we would have come to see if I'm and the child, huh? We'll see them in the next two weeks. I told you of this uh, emergency meeting I have to attend. Well, I'm tired now. All I need now is to go in and rest. I think that would be good for you.
But uh, yes, can I help you? Uh, yes, uh, <clears throat> um, please, uh, there's Maureen around. Uh, but no, she hasn't come back from school. Yes, uh, but uh, do you want to drop any message? Uh, no, don't worry, I'll just call her. Uh, but uh, then, what is your name now, in case she asks you? Uh, my name is... Look, don't worry about it, okay? Just, I'll just call her, I'll go somewhere and call her. All right, thank you very much. Bye bye. What it is this? So you want to see What the problem is? The car just stopped us here. Um, are you good with engines? Not really, but I could try. Can you hold this for me? Better pay attention. What's that instruction? I don't know. Wires. Why don't you try and start it again? Alright. Thank you very much. Yeah, it was nothing, just a minor electrical fault. By the way, your face looks very familiar. I don't have seen you somewhere, but I can't remember right now. We're in the same school. I read economics. Besides, I stay off uh, Transamadi Street. That's where. That's where I've seen you. Um, are you going home? Um, we're going to my house. You can give me a ride, yeah? Of course. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for the ride, girls. No, no, no. We should be the one to thank you for the help. Ah, it was nothing. Thanks yeah. a lot, yeah. yeah. See ya. All right, bye bye. Nelson, you still haven't told me who that girl is and why I should be embarrassed. Look, Sandra, I don't have time for all this, okay? I'm not in the mood for all these queries. What do you mean you don't have time for all this, eh? You lied to me. 
You deceived me. Somebody came in here, fought me, embarrassed me. You didn't even care. You didn't say anything. Why? Oh, come in. Oh, Stevie. so hard on girls. I mean, don't you feel any remorse? Look, still, man, it's a game of win or lose. It's either you win or they win. Me, I love winning all the time. But they are humans now. Sometimes you get to put yourself in their shoes. And so what? Don't tell me you're a saint, are you? I may not be, but I know what love is. Then you do and get married. There's a girl in my life that I know. Really? You need to see her. Who is she? You don't know her, but I'll introduce you. I mean, this girl, she has everything I want in the I worship her. I adore her. And if God is willing, she's going to be the mother of my children. Look, Steve, man, the problem with you is that you're too soft. I mean, you shy away too much from women, and that makes it difficult for you to really know them. I know enough. Anyway, I came to tell you that I'm traveling to see my parents. And uh, could you cover for me in case there's any assignment in the school or something? No problem. How long are you staying? Mm, like a week. So I'll be back on Monday. That'll be right. No problem. Yeah, I'll be going. All right? Yeah, and if you see Charles, you can tell him, okay? I didn't get the chance to tell him. Why not? Yeah, see ya. Take it easy, man. I think I've seen their faces in the department. I'd like to talk to the one on the blue ribbon. I know you don't know me, but I'm a student of the same university. I, I see you around this campus. Really? No, I don't remember seeing you. Um, yes. Um, I'm in accounting department, final year. Honestly, I I like to be your friend. I, I'm Nelson. Well, I'm Maureen, my friend Kate. Law department, both of us. <sighs> Hi, Kate. Um, so how? Can I come to your department and see you from time to time? If you have the time, it's a free world. I don't expect roses. <laughs> you don't strike me like the negative type. I mean, you look every week the kind type. If you say so. <laughs> Bye now. Bye. See you around. Going to school? Yeah. What are you doing here? Do you, do you stay around here? No, I actually walked down the road to see your friend. Oh, okay. Do you mind if we walk to school together? Why not? Ah, this is very nice. How much did you buy? What's it for 2,500 naira? Are you serious? That's reasonable. How does it look on me? It's good. Why don't they have other colors? The dogs like black. Black is good, though. In case I want one of them. I'm surprised at you. Can you bring it? Hi. 
This is my friend's family house, actually. I mean, what if she doesn't like no visitors coming in? No, 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 no. It's okay. As long as mommy doesn't feel good. Okay. Excuse me. Um, anywhere I went shopping with an uncle, I saw this and I felt it. Thanks. Oh, that was thoughtful of you. I do think you'll take out time to think about me. Well, I, I do that all the time. Wow. This is nice. Wow, thank you very much. I like oh. it. Uh, but you know, she has gone out with her friend. She? Can you give this to her if she comes back? What oh, okay? Thank you very much. I, I, but I hope this is not exclusive. So, huh? tell me about this new guy, Nelson. You seem to be so wrapped up with him. Let's just say, I've never known anybody so attentive. I mean, he's so caring. Always wanting to do one thing to make me happy. I mean, if he's not picking me up to school, he's taking me to the, some special place for lunch. I think I'm in love. Really? But, you just knew him barely a week ago. How come you're this? He's done more than people who have known in years in just a week. He's always sharing me with gifts. He's so always nice. so sweet. He's... <laughs> Never mind. You're lucky. Mm -hmm. So, it's also up to class for our last lecture. What is this? Who, who brought it? Uh, but he didn't say his name. Sorry. I, I forget to ask for his name. Okay, thank you. Go and shut the gate. Will it be if not Nelson? Nelson. I told you he's full of surprises. God, this is beautiful. Yeah. In fact, I'm going to see him right away. You mean now? Yes, now. I'm going back to my place. I'll see you later.
Oh, Steve, you're here. Meet my girlfriend, Laura. Laura and Steve, my friend. I think I've met you before. Oh, the guy who helped my friend and I was Italian. Oh, well, uh, why don't you just hang around in my room, okay, while I saw Laura? I'll get back to you. Yeah. Hang on, man. Hang on. Steve, my brother, what are you doing, Glory? I don't understand you. Glory is not your type. She's not one of those around the corner babes that you pick up. On oh, whose side are you? Is she your sister? I mean, she's not your sister. I know that. I know what you want to do. You just want to use her, dump her, and break her heart. Please, she's not that type. Leave her alone, please. Steve, I still don't understand your point. You are not my pastor, and I'm. What are you driving at? I love that girl. What? You met a girl in my place and suddenly you are in love with her and you want me to leave her for you? I've known that girl for a long time. But she barely recognized you the other time. I've been making proper arrangements to show that girl that I love her, to talk to her. <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry about this. Honestly, okay? I'm sorry. But you came a bit too late, okay? The girl is mine now. Please, 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 please. I love that girl. I'm always dreaming about that girl. I told you about her when I came here. The last time I came here, I told you I was going to travel, didn't I? Please leave that girl for me. I'll do anything for you, please. Oh, sorry, Steve. I can't help you. Look, there are too many girls out there. You can just... I don't need many other girls! I just need this little girl. I love her. I need her. She's the only girl I want. If you have any other thing to talk about, let's go ahead and talk about it. As for Laurie's case, I consider it closed. But I promise you one thing. I can have her as soon as I'm through with her. Oh, for Christ's sake! Man, you better not hurt that girl. You better not hurt her. Oh, my God. Probably just contribute enough money to get a handout because it's very expensive. I mean, I'm gonna ask my mom, Sha. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, oh, nice go out. Do you want to right? Yes, I am. Actually, I came to talk to you about Maury. Maury? You just left here a moment ago. You just yeah. missed her. You know, I don't want to see her. Rather, I came to see you. I want to talk to you about her. Can I come in? It's quite a sad story, just told me. Look, can you help me? Is there any possible way you can help me? I'll appreciate it. See, I... It's so difficult at this moment. But why didn't you talk to her all this while? I was... I was afraid. Afraid of what? I was afraid that... I'm not good enough for her. I'm afraid that... She'll say no. You see, when you're in love... You become afraid of so many things, especially the heart. I guess I was waiting for the right moment, special moment to talk to her. See, Steve, at this moment, 
Maureen thinks Nelson means the whole world to her now. There is nothing I will tell her now that will make her change her mind. Even if I tell her that Nelson don't really care about her, she might feel I'm being jealous. Can't you understand? Look, I dream about this girl every night. I sing a name in my heart. Her picture resides in my soul. Look, my fantasies, my imaginations, everything revolves around this girl. I, I even made a drawing of her and sent it to her as a present. Wait a minute. A drawing? Yeah. You're the one that did that? Yes, I am. I got the picture from the school photographer and I used it to sketch it. Steve, I wish I could help you. I really wish I could. You see, it's a matter of the heart. And as it is now, there is nothing I can do about it. Nelson, an old friend of mine, and his girlfriend. Hi, nice to meet you. Same here. My baby's shy. <laughs> Come on. You know what, Cam? Yeah. We're having a party tonight. Whoa. Sure, you guys are coming with me. Come on. Why not? I'm a party dog, you know. Too late. Yeah. Maybe it's really too late. Sure, why not? You know what? Uh, I'll get you guys a room here to stay the night. I put the bill. Really? That would be nice, though. <laughs> yeah, um, we'll stay and leave you that change. I just said, let me call the reception to arrange for the room. Right. Say hello? Yeah, is that the reception? Good. Please, uh, arrange me an extra room to my car. Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Come upstairs later, I'll take the money. What are you looking at? You. Honey, you're so pretty. So enchanting. Treasure to be old. Yes, sir. Yes. 
Do you love me? Of course I do. done this before. You have nothing to worry about. You see, at this time, your body and mind are going to make a promise. A promise to remain together. With me all this while. If I right now he's in training, he's chilling out. I'll, I'll arrange rooms for you guys. <laughs> We're coming right back. Hey, you remember the party? Yes, yes, yes. okay. <laughs> yeah, my geez. This is our own party. I'll make you up.
Thanks for the ride, dude. She really wants to thank you for the help. Ah, it was nothing. See you around. See you. to build an image in my mind. Now I can't sleep. I can't eat. <laughs> it's like a part of me is dead. I don't even feel like myself anymore. But why can't you look for someone else? There must be someone else you can find. There can never be someone else. Each time I close my eyes, all I see is her. All I want is her. I mean, I need her. There can never be any me without her. Leave me alone. Get out of my life. I warned you. Don't you ever come back to my house now. I don't own that baby. Okay? Go and look for the father. You, fortune, or whatever seeker. Sad. Is there anything I can do to make you happy or something? I'm pregnant. Huh? I'm pregnant for your friend and he's denying it. What? No. Where is he? Where is he? What did you do tomorrow? What's your problem? Are you not her father? I warned you to stay off her, didn't I? I warned you, Nelson. No, fine. Like I told you, I will show it her. You can go ahead and have her. Okay? You got her pregnant and threw her out, and this is all you can say, Nelson. Hey, 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 please. You stay out of it, okay? Stay out of it. Just her right, butter so and this is all you can say. Yeah, what's this guy trying to say? What, what's the business? to do now. See, the sign of your pregnancy will start showing in a matter of weeks. And your mother is no fear. Huh? I could have an abortion. I want an abortion. An abortion? Damn. In this town? Which hospital will accept you without a lawyer or a relative? Maureen. Don't even think about this roadside clinic because you'll be dead before you know it. And besides, if you have an abortion, it will take your mother just a snap of a finger to me because you have to get home at once. Help me, help me, I don't know what to do. I, I don't even have any money in the first place. Uh, Maureen, I think I can help you. I can get you a lawyer. I can, uh, take you to a good hospital and stand in as your next of kin. And after the operation, I'll take you to a hotel and book you in there. But you see, it all depends on if you can get your parents to release you for two weeks. And then we'll go to our bar. I, I know what to tell them. Steve, 
All of this you can't have. It really costs you money. We'll be having a very serious and important quiz tomorrow. And this guy who's supposed to sit in for morning said 4,000 naira. And I don't have it. I don't know what to do. And my parents are not in town now. 4,000 naira. So, there's this quiz due for tomorrow. Oh, yeah, yeah. Our course rep, who is uh, the leader of their group, said 2,500 naira or her name will be removed. And you know what that means? Carry you over. Mm. We can't allow that to happen. This is 2005. Thank you very much. Now, please try as much as possible to cover for her in class, okay? I just came to tell you that everything is okay. I'm leaving now. I have some things to do before I go back to see her in class. It's alright. Yeah. Um, Steve. Yeah? I just want to thank you. You're really a nice guy. You see, I couldn't leave her like that. I had to help her. Besides, you know I love her. Alright, take care of yourself.
Nah, what's up? Did you see Maureen? Maureen? No, no, no. Kate, Kate, did you see Maureen? Yeah. 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 Maureen, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I really didn't know what came over me. But I promise it will never happen again. Never, ever will it ever occur. I love you, Maureen. I really do. Sorry. Afro-Bravo TV, enjoy their shutters of entertainment programming. Steve, he's yeah. coming. Come on. I was supposed to see him. I didn't see him. Wait. You see him then. I just came out from the club. Oh. Surprise! When did you leave the hospital? About a week ago. I was expecting you to come, but you didn't show up. It's as if you didn't care. No, Steve, no, it's not like that. Don't say that. It, it, see what happened there. My, my aunt came back from Abuja and she was pregnant. And then when she was in labor, I was alone at home. Jesus, I was running health to scans. I was such a disaster, I swear. Anyway, when I had the chance to see you, I didn't know what hospital you were in. Could have asked one of my friends then. Which of your friends do I know aside from Nelson? And you know I don't want to go anywhere close to him. But I felt very bad. I mean, if you had come to the hospital, I would have recovered much quicker. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, okay? I'm sorry. Forgive me. Hey? Mary, I think I have to run back to the Let me go. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Okay. Steve, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to, okay? I know you're angry. But the truth was, I couldn't locate your hospital. That, that, that it's was all right. it. It's all in the past. But you're still angry, I know. Abby? Okay, you know what? Let me take you out. Take me out? Since when have you begun taking me out? Yeah. What are you implying that I can't take you out? Look, I, I, I feel bad. I want to make up for it, all right? And so just give me the chance. Let me take you out. Okay. So where are we going? I don't know. Anywhere. Let's just go. Okay? It's all right. So, how, how's it been in school? Uh, well, I haven't been in school since. 
Like you have committed, or Jesse. Come. Is there another girl I was just talking to you about? The girl that just drove in. Jesse? Yes. Is that her name? Oh boy. That is an army general's daughter. Just stay clear. Ha. Man. If her father likes, let him be the commander of the United States Marine. <laughs> Me, I'm going for that baby. Parents, man. What is they trying to catch the wind when you can't even see it with your eyes? See, you're not anywhere near the guy she goes out with. I tell you. I have a gist for you girls. Okay, we're we're all all yes. There was this party thrown by the son of the former head of state. You see, like, come and look at people. Check out, guys. Oh, I almost fainted. I wish you guys were there. Hey, you couldn't so even there. call us, man. Oh. At least we would have taken the next available flight, man. Get your weekend. Relax. My car is full of complimentary cards. Besides, some of those guys that attended the party are still around for more fun. You know what I'm saying? Really? We yeah. are there now. Let's go. Eh? Are you girls ready for fun? Yeah, yeah. 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 don't discourage me, man. For me, I'm getting that girl. Okay? Hang on. You have got, got some time to waste. Jesse is a man, not a girl. Oh. Hi, hello. Excuse me. I came to see you. Is there any problem? Do I. Do I know you? Oh, well, not quite, uh, but I've been meaning to see you, just that you don't always come around. And I asked, is there any problem? No, 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 just that um, I'd like to see you. I mean, there's something I want us to talk about. About what? That you saw me, you loved me, excuse me. Uh, sorry. Why are you putting it this way? I mean, it's quite not Do fair. Do you mind removing your hand? I have a place to go. Excuse me. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Hello. I told you. I told you, didn't I? <laughs> Charles. No, girl. No girl in this campus there rubbishes me and Bruce Godfrey. It's just the beginning, man. <laughs> I told you. Steve, look, I'm sorry about what happened at the party. I, I didn't mean for you to come in. I've been asking myself over and over again, what is it you want as a friend that I can't give you? That night that I saw you with Nelson, after all I've done for you, I was like... Look, it, it, it wasn't what you thought. It, I was only dancing with him. Really. I, I went over to him, you know, to let him know it was over between us. I mean, did, obviously, after what happened. Why did you dance with him? I was hurt. I was deeply hurt. He asked for a last dance. Do you understand? He was going on and on about how much he was going to miss me and all that. And so I... Look, I'm sorry, all right? It will never happen again. I can assure you. It's over between Nelson and I. Are you sure about that? Cross my heart. I'm never going to see him again. I'm over him. You know, like, done. Trust me, okay? Just 
Let's drink to that. Charles, man. Mm -hmm. I know where this girl goes for lunch. I know how we always made. You know? Bass. Clean decals. You don't see. Check this out, man. Shit! This is serious. Now, wow. Nelson, this is serious. You fall in love? I I can't believe it. It's unbelievable, Nelson. Charles, don't understand. This girl is driving me crazy. Go and sit down. This girl that hangs around with different men on campus. Charles, watch your mouth. See, I have told you all there is to say. Is it because her father is a top shot? Or is it top and she comes to school with different rights? I tell you, she is a no body. That means you don't know her, man. You don't know her level, man. This lady is high class. Fashy, man. Big babe, man. Nelson, you're really going bananas over this babe, you know. Man, look, this afternoon, man, yeah. I'm going to that restaurant, yeah. I'm going to dazzle her, man. Whatever it costs me, man, man. I'm going to give it to her. This girl will never stay her class. Will never stay her room. Ah, hi. Hi. Nelson, what is it? You're obviously not happy to see me. Of course I am. Just that you came at the wrong time and I and my friend were just about pouring out somewhere. What wrong time is that, Nelson? Why is it each time I come to visit you, you're always on your way out? Oh, that's not true. It's not true. I mean, uh, there's a practical class we have to attend and we are just hurrying out. Yeah, let me hurry up and change. Nelson. Nelson, what's going on? I mean, I don't get to see you. You're always telling me you'll come visit, you'll come visit, but you don't. Your initial excuse was that you couldn't visit me in my family house, but now I've moved into school, you still don't visit. Oh, baby girl, uh, I promise I'll visit you now, okay? I promise I will. You're just taking this thing too far, okay? Where's what the money? Hey, come on. What are you doing? Hey, no, stop. How much you got here? No, no, so you can't have that. That's all I've got. Um, okay, manage this now. Okay? Um, I'm going to get some from those sugar daddies. <laughs> Nelson, I resent that. Nelson, take it easy now. Ah, she's your babe, you know. Oh, what, man, what's your own now? What's your business? Better mind your business, man. Ah, I was only joking, baby. I was just joking. Sorry about that. Okay. Nelson, I'm coming, man. Uh, hi, what are you doing here so early? I came to walk you to school. <laughs> That's sweet. Um, very sweet, but you shouldn't have bothered. It doesn't matter. I was, I was thinking about you all night, and I decided to come and make you the first girl I say good morning to. Uh, how is your arm doing? It's improving, but I think it would do much better if you spent more time with me. Why are you making it sound like I do not care for you or something? And that's not true. I love you. And I miss you very much. I mean, I'd like you to spend time with me more often. You've said that before. And I'll keep saying it. Because from the depth of my heart, it's true. I know, it's nice. I mean, it's nice to know somebody cares for me the way you do. I appreciate it. I do. So why don't we have a date? A nice, private, comfortable place. Just the two of us. The only sound we'll hear is each other's heartbeats. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, let's let's um, meet at the Scorpio. You, you know the restaurant? Yeah, I do. 5 p.m. tomorrow. Is it okay by you? Yeah, I'm at Scorpio. 5 p.m. I'll be waiting. When do you have lectures today? Oh, very, very early. That's actually why I'm trying to rush, you know. Good day, sir. Hi, uh, yeah. Can I take your order now? Uh, get me grape juice and uh, a bottle of red wine. Okay. Excuse me. Uh, what time is it by your uh, 
time is? It's 4.30, sir. 4.30. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Good, good. And also, get me a, a glass of water. Very well, sir. If you saw me crying, would you save my soul tonight? Would you tremble if I touched your lips? Would you laugh? Oh, please tell me this. Now, would you die? No, 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 I'll do it myself. Let's go do something. What time is it, Barry? It's 8 o'clock. Maybe the person you're waiting for is not coming. I suggest you give the person a call. Thank you very much. She can make me laugh when I want to cry. Oh, yeah. She tells me that I'm in control. Excuse me, sir. Your wine. Where are you heading? What sort of question is that? I was coming to see you. But I was thinking maybe we could go out. I mean, it's been a while we went out together. Hmm? Oh, no. I'm sorry. That won't be possible at the moment. Why not? It's weekend. And besides, Friday night is not supposed to be boring between two lovers. Look, I know, but but I'm behind schedule, I mean, on my project. My partners will be waiting for me somewhere right now. At this time? Jeez, it's late. What sort of project is that? I know, it's a studio class. I mean, we'll be hanging out at like 9.30, maybe some other time. Nelson. Okay, can I at least come with you? No, I mean, I have to get to like one or two other places before I go to the studio. Nelson, are you avoiding me? There she goes again. Ah, everything I do or say, you keep, I mean, God, suspecting me, suspecting me, always suspecting me. I am not suspecting you. Okay, all I want is to spend some time with you and you're not giving me that chance. It's not fair. See, I'm sorry, okay? See, I, I'll make it up to you. I promise. Just that I've been very busy lately and you've been coming at the wrong time. Look, my next weekend, I promise you, I'm going to hang out with you for, I mean, through the weekend, okay? I say that. Say that I'm saying again. Okay, I'll see you. Hey, what are you still hanging out there for?
quiet. What is the matter? No, nothing. I'm, I'm fine. I hope so. And um, by the way, did you let us see Nelson? I thought you said both of you will be going out for the night. Well, I saw him. But he seems to be too busy with his group projects. Group projects? What has group project got to do with your going out with him? <laughs> what sort of an overseer student is he? I don't know, in their departments, they seem to be spending a lot of time in the studio and the lab, I don't know, dissecting engines and platforms and what have you. Well, he better make out time to dissect your own engine and platforms. Baby girl, what do you know if I would do? No, I forget. Come, let's go and eat. I'm hungry. How are you? Is this the departmental group project you were talking about? Is it it? Oh uh, no, uh, things change actually. Uh, 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 Maureen! Wait, so you two know each other? Yeah, sort of, uh, sort of. Uh, excuse me, I'm coming. No way! No way! You came here to see me and you're not living with her. I demand to know who that girl is. Look, um, she is my friend before, but there is no. You won't understand. She just. Excuse me. You are not even serious. Ah, Ada. Look, Nelson. That was total four calls. How could you have allowed Mori to catch you red and with Dada? Oh, Charles, you can't imagine. You can't imagine that I didn't. I finally didn't get to do anything to that girl because she wanted to know who Maureen is. We almost fourth. Eh? Now, 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 I've lost that girl after everything I did to just get her. Ah uh, well, you won't lose on both sides. You just have to go up and make it up with Maureen. Who is Maureen? Girl is always trailing me. I mean, she's always, always close marking me as if she, as if she owns me. She deserves what she saw, or what she saw serves her right. Look, you never know when you need her, and I know you always do financially. So if you lose her, that means nothing for you as per cash. You will rust, nothing. So, so you you expect me to go and beg her? What's there? What is there in going to beg them? See, look, this gift I'm wrapping up now is for Linda. I'll be going to her hostel to beg her for standing her up. Look, Nelson, sometimes you just have to beg these girls. Especially when you know you are at fault. Man, how do I start? I mean... Okay, look, I'll just put the blames on her. The moment I set my eyes on her, Man, I'm going to put on the defensive. What? How? Find out. Nelson, I demand an explanation. Who the hell was that girl you were with? No, Maureen. You owe me an explanation for walking out on me. I mean, for embarrassing me the way you just did. Me, I explain to you. Yes. Can you imagine the way you walked out on me? You lied to me about going out for some project. Only for me to catch you with some girl? And then you tell me to explain? Explain what? Look, Ada is in my department. Ask anybody. Find out. Look, we're just through with the project and I was... I mean, I was rushing to, to, to go to her place to re collect the report of the last week's report from her group. Okay? Then I was also hosting to come back to see in the hostel. Then you walked into us and, 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 and before I could introduce her, you were already running out on me. Stop lying. Me, me, I'm lying, right? I'm lying. Okay, okay. Look at this. Look at this. I bought this for you. If I wasn't thinking of you, how could I have God gotten this for you? Hey, check this out. Check, check them out.
But there's no name on the card. Uh, how could I have written something on it when, when, when I didn't have time? I was running between reports from my dad's house, thinking of you and running around, thinking of how to get your hostel and all that. Nelson, please, you have to excuse me. But I'm sorry. Come on. Go ahead. Go ahead, accuse me now. Accuse me. Call me names. It's not what you've been doing since. I'm sorry. I... I didn't know what to think. Nelson, look, I love you, okay? And I don't want to lose you. I got pissed off when I saw you with a girl. I, I didn't know. You offended me, though. I said I'm sorry now. I'm not Let my bygones be bygones, all right? Forgive me, I'm sorry. You really hurt me. Come and sit. Kneel down. Your news must touch the ground before I forgive you. <laughs> Life is sweet. Yes. What did I say? Life, Life is sweet. Life is so sweet. Life is so sweet. <laughs> it's good to rock it down there. Yes, sir. You girls, sir. Remember that politician I told you about? That tall, skinny politician. The one that sent a private jet to pick me last week. Uh -huh. hmm. <laughs> I dealt with him, man. And we trust you. Just Williams. Yeah. It took me for a move. Ah, babe. Let's rock. I dealt with him. I dealt with him, all right? Life turns to Champion. I'm a thoroughbred, my flesh is strong. Please go and call my daughter. Adam, what do you want? Your father is waiting for your side. Eh? My brother? My brother. My brother. You guys relax. I'll take care of him. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg him. Ah, hold this for me. See, go, go. get up, get up, get up. Let's go now. Daddy, what's up, Dad? Come on, come on, come on. Just look at yourself. Eh? What rubbish is this? Eh? Are you still a child? Jesse! Daddy, what did I do? Oh, you don't know what he did? Are you not ashamed of yourself? Just look at the time. You're supposed to be in class. Let me ask you, Jesse. Do you ever go to school at all? Eh? What rubbish is this? Daddy, 
Lecturers are yet to resume teaching. Then go to the library. Nothing is really happening in school. Is it the same to go to the library? Look at you reeking of uh, cigarette smoke and alcohol. Eh? Your mates have all gotten married and you're here wasting your time. Jesse, now get out of this place. I'm sorry, Dad. I was only relaxing with my friends. If you are relaxing with your okay, what you do now? Get inside, change this thing, and be a very decent person. Don't I can take you out and then buy all those things you want. Yes, sir. Him now with a friend when I noticed you guys. We met at the campus the other time, you remember? Yes, we did. Before I drove off. Sorry about my rude behavior that day. Uh, that's all right. Um, anyhow, um, we've not been introduced formally. I'm Nelson. I'm Jesse, Chica, Vivian, and Nello. Hi, Hi girls. Uh, I just stepped in with my friend here to have lunch when I noticed the people. Please, uh, do feel free to order for more things from the kitchen, okay? I'll respond to the people. Really? Thanks. Thanks. That's cool of you. I like your pants, though. Oh, my pants. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh, Jesse, let me just finish up with my friend and I'll come back so we can get all acquainted. Okay. All right. Uh, wait a Please, um, take their order, okay? Add their uh, whatever to my bill. And then come over to my table so you can take our bills. Okay. Wait, sir. Yes, can we get a bottle of chilled wine? A very good one. Okay, ma'am. It's a birthday. Yes. <laughs> that was really cool. Thank you. Thank you. She was spending this time. Oh, relax, man. That girl is mine. That was cool. That was cool. I like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a good one. This is the new carpet. Yes, I know. Yeah. Yes, what, what can we go find? Um, what do you care for? Rice and stew. Rice and stew, right? Yeah. Yeah. White, 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 white. Okay. Yeah. So, like I was saying, uh, Not that bad. 
it's more what happened. Um, I will engage more in the conversation. Yeah? She, people will think she's my girlfriend. Then you can act indifferent. But what will happen in the case uh, Jesse calls my attention or they want to leave? What will happen? Uh, you are accompanying them all out now. Maureen will know which one of them you're interested in. That's it now. No, 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 Charles. Just discharge this girl, man. Because if she fucks up, I mean, if she messes up my chance. I want to relax with Charles. Okay, relax, relax. Just act casual now. Relax. Uh -uh. Take, take your time. Act casual. Okay, okay. This is what I will do, okay? Okay. I just go and pay the bills now. Mm -hmm. Then I excuse myself from Maureen and Jesse. Then I bail. What will I be doing then? And you just stay with Maureen, man. I mean, so that they won't suspect I have anything to do with Jesse. Okay? That's a good idea. Let's go. Let's go. Hello? Hello? Where's my beer? Okay, let me get down. Alright. Uh, I'll just like to go out there and make an urgent phone call. It's very urgent and important to me. I'll just be back, okay? Okay. Hang on, I want to talk to you when I'm back, okay? I don't think I stay out this late. Where the hell could he be? Where? Well, I don't know. If I wait for him a little bit longer and he doesn't come, I'll leave. I just came to collect my assignment. That's it. Did you see what he did to me? Can you imagine the way he abandoned me in that restaurant? Just left? Didn't even bother coming back, knowing funny while I was still there waiting for him? Sorry. Well, Maybe he forgot or something came up. Forgot? Forgot what? Me? <laughs> hmm. Anyway, he has me to answer to. His behavior is becoming very questionable these days. Well, you never can tell. That may not really be what he had in his mind. Anyway, I, I can't wait any longer. But please, as soon as he returns, tell him I was here and I waited. All right. And I want to see him in my room first thing tomorrow morning. I'll tell him. Unfailingly. In that case, let me walk you off. Suspect me for what now? Eh? Is she the only girl in, in, in this world? I think it's about time I, I, I put that girl where she really belongs. Huh? I've told her to leave me alone. I've told her off. Uh, this girl's always on 
my neck with how we were more serious Please, love. Please, just give me my assignment and let me go. I'm tired. But no, that's not the case. You don't know how much I've dreamt about you. How much I've dreamt about holding you in my arms. Even before Nelson came and hurt you. Thank you. Do you like it? Mm-hmm. He hurt you, yeah. He really did. But it was me who felt the pain most. Maureen, I love you. I really do. Me will be in here all this while. Huh? Steve just left now. Let me call you. No, no, no. Hey. Why? Let him go, let him go, please. We're just standing out there. In fact, look at what you brought for him. Thank you. Just let me drop it. I have a serious headache and I just want to be alone. So let him go. We would have at least attended to him now, eh? What is headache compared to what he did for you when you were in the hospital? Huh. Maureen, what is really going on? There's nothing going on. Now. There's nothing. I, I, I just don't feel too well. I'll see him tomorrow. Don't worry. But at least you could have opened the door and seen him. Well, honestly, I didn't know he was the one there. I thought he was someone else. I had your family. Ah, Everybody is fine. I hope this has nothing to do with that guy, Nelson. Because if I see him here again, I'll fight him myself. Why'd you say that? That guy is not man enough. Eh? He is not man enough to come around me or any girl that has anything to do with me. Especially you, Maureen. Wake up! Wake up! Who is this guy in Elsin anyway? And it's okay, please just change the topic. Men's talk is not what I want to discuss right now. Opportunity to go and talk to her one on one. Mm, that's a good idea, you know. Yeah. Let's go, Mr. Lobo Boy. Let's go. Hey, so that lecturer didn't allow you guys to sit for his test. Forget that man. They'll beat him up one of these days. Of course. I'm the one to beat him up. Hey, which ones now? Nah. Hi, Jesse. Hi. You didn't come back yesterday. Thanks for the treat anyway. Oh, it's okay. Um, may I have a moment with you? Um, give me some time. Let me finish with these guys. Okay. Uh, I'll just be waiting right over there with my friend, okay? So, when you're back then... It's only for you. Why not? Look at Nelson again. She asked me to hang on. That's like Nelson, man. You are representing. What time, nigga? Hello, oh, girl. Hey, London. <laughs> My friends were just tripping me around. I didn't want to come back again. And I, I guess she's forgotten where I was still waiting for her. Oh, my God. Let me put her one more time. I, I just say hi. I was still waiting. No problem, I'm coming. You know I was with them before you came, so give me some time. All right, just just take your time, okay? No problem, anytime. We're waiting over. 
all I'm concerned is about the chat you bought for me on the trailer. It's you, it's you, you. 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 Come Don't come find him. <laughs> What's she even feeling like? Look, I'm going to leave you alone to wait for her. Relax, me. You know these girls the way they behave the first time. You gotta be you know, patience. Your body to the hot. Let's let's go for a drink, eh? Ah, sure. I'm tired. I don't want to drive. Can you drive? Let's yeah. drive. Jesse, we've been waiting, I mean. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, maybe we'll see some other time. We want to rush down to a place, so later. Bye. Student. That girl is bad news. What, what, what sort of rubbish is this? What? I beg, let's go, let's go. This is one now. A homie, Nelson. Ah, let's go, let's go. Hey, Nelson. What are you doing? Nelson, my guy. Hey. What's up now? How far? Talk to me now. Are you still thinking of Jesse and uh, Attitude? Man, I can't really get that girl out of my mind. You know, there's, there's something about her. I mean, there's this thing. There's something about her, her dressing, her talking, the way she acts, you know? You know I've had an eye for, on her for a while, you know? Nelson, don't tell me you've easily fallen in love with a girl that feels virtually nothing for you. That's the issue, Charles. That's the point. I mean, I, I have to let it show now. Let what show? <clears throat> Nelson, don't tell me you have fallen in love. Yes, Charles. I'm falling in love and with Jesse. And I have to let her know that. What happens to Maureen then? Ah, oh, who's Maureen? When I'm talking about Jesse, girls been giving me sleepless nights. Yeah, talking about Maureen. If I don't get that girl in my life, there's nothing anybody's saying around that's getting to my head. Listen, this is real deep. How could you fall in love? And most importantly, how do you get Jesse to get down with you? Leave that to me, man. You know me now. You know my life, man. <laughs> Leave more, man. You? Leave more, I guess, man. Yeah?
a feeling creeping up inside of me And as you can see, I can't tell it Oh no, I can't So you think I'm acting like a child Maybe that's what I truly am Oh But she's arrested every sense in me Making me a captive in this crazy fantasy And I kind of love the way I feel But if it is love Or infatuation I don't mind Seems to matter to me anymore. Hey, that's all. Oh, oh. Uh, What's going on here? Wow. Those letters. Ha! No, so. So you're not yet through with all these poems and love letters. Look at all the things you bought for that girl. Charles, man. I really want her to know that I have a feeling for her. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. I want her to know that I truly care for her. Nelson, you're, you're really a changed person. All because of that girl, uh, Jessie. Just listen to the way you sound. Man, not just the sound of my voice. Very soon I'm going to start changing my looks. Mm -hmm. Charles, I, I think it's, it's all this my playboy appearance that's making her or scaring her away from me. Don't you think so? I, I think so. Hey, look, I, I truly love this girl. You love <laughs> What's in the world you You fall in love. I am a hero. Mm -hmm. I am like a girl at home now. Nelson, wake up, wake up, we can't be you. Oh, but leave me now, wait till me that now. Uh, Why person not feel the stay in himself? Melt at the sight of an angel. Yesterday, I was coming back from class, and I know I just came out from the gates, you know, that kind of thing. Hi, girls. Can I come in? But well, you're already in. I need to be the guy who met at the restaurant. You're right, you're right. I really knew I was hoping I'll meet your girls here. But Jess is not in, and we don't know when she'll be here. Actually, I, I didn't come to see Jesse. I came to see you girls, you know. I I want you to help me give this to her. Mm -mm. That's very kind of you. This is lovely. I'm sure Jesse will appreciate it. See, I, I really would like you girls to help me talk to Jesse. You know. I, I mean I believe if there's anybody I need to talk to on the behalf of Jesse, it is you, her friends. To just help me tell her, I mean, she doesn't give me attention. I mean, no matter all the reasons I've given or how much I've showed her that, I mean, I have a good intention, she just wouldn't give me attention, please. You know, these things take time. Jaxie is really a friendly place if you get to know her. Yeah. Maybe because she really doesn't know me too well, and one cannot really force her to do that, you know. But um, if you girls can please help me talk to her. I mean, better just give me an hour. Just one hour and I'll be fine. No problem. I promise you. We will. We'll talk to her. Then in that regard, girls, uh, I'd like to take my leave. Just help me extend my love to her when she comes, OK? It's all right. And I want you girls to know that I really, really care for your friend, Jesse. No problem. Bye. She'll get your message. Thanks, bye. <laughs> bye. Bye. So, what are the names now? You are? Chica. Chica. Vivian. Vivi. And Nelo. Nelo, baby. Bye, girls. I'll see you. Bye. 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 bye.
Mm. Aren't you going to at least check out what the guy bought for you, Jesse? At least. I don't use such cheap things. You know now. Where did he get it from? Wait, oh. What does this guy even want from me anyway? He really loves you. What else? <laughs> Let him join the queues like others. Yes. I may consider him. Hi, girls. Hi, girls. Um, how's Jessie? Yeah, she's fine. We did give her the gift you brought and she was so happy yeah. about it. Oh, how nice. Um, where could she be now, I wonder? You're lucky. Very lucky. She's in there. Let me see her right now. All right, see you. Bye now. Hi, girls. Hi. Oh, Hello, Jessie. Sweetheart. Hi. Hi. I saw your gift. Hi. It's nice. Thank you. Well, uh, I'm glad you like them. Actually, I saw your friend Nello and check out the way I decided you were in here. Oh, uh, yes. I do come here some weekends. Right, um, here. Yeah. I, I got this for you. Oh, how sweet of you. Hmm, some perfumes and body spray. Thanks. Sit down. Oh, thank you. <sighs> so, what are you doing this weekend? Well, well, some places in town, you know. Excuse me. Can you hold this thing? Hello? Ah, my sweetheart! Ah, what a surprise! I've missed you. Where? Eh? Oh. Excuse me, one minute. Come into the country. Oh, I came in last week and I'm staying at uh, Diamond Resource Hotels. What will you be doing with yourself this weekend? Maybe take an afternoon flight to Abuja. Wow! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who am I to say no when uh, it done like he is in town? Jesse, baby. Uh -huh. yeah. Remember those, my friends? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I would like to see them. It's been a long time I saw them last. Um, I'll call one of them. Okay. Just give me a few minutes. Auntie Love, I've missed you. She likes you. Lady, we are going out. We are going out. Get your things. Like you girls are going somewhere. Oh. Sorry, I forgot you're still here. Um, my boyfriend is around. And we have to go out with him. Well, in that case, uh, I guess I should be on my way then. Um, well, we'll see later. You can check back later, no problem. Don't be offended. Lydia, let's move. It's alright, I'm going to be offended. Come on, how are you? Fine, thank you. Oh, you're still Olivia. looking good. You still remember Edward? Of course, how can I forget him? At least I know today will be fun. You're welcome. Um, are you set to go? Yes, of yeah. course. Why, let me take care. Thank you, darling. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> Jesse, baby. Knocking your door. Maybe no one is around. As you can see, I'm just coming back. Okay. Um, I was there all through yesterday. 
And since afternoon I've been parambulating. I mean, Jessie's not returning. Where is she? I wouldn't know. Jessie doesn't live here. She only comes here for visits. You can check her in her house. I thought you both went out together on Saturday. Excuse me. We're not twin. We can go out together and split from there. For goodness sake. Maybe you check Jessie in class tomorrow. Okay. Uh, what about her number? Do you have it? Can I call her? I don't have it. I'm sorry. As you can see, I'm just coming back from Portacourt and I'm dead tired. Maybe you should just say goodnight. What? Portacourt? Yep. Was that where you guys went to? I, mean, I thought she she said something about... Excuse me, sorry. I would like to have some rest. Just see Jess in class tomorrow, okay? Jesse. 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 What else do you want me to do? It take just to let you know that I love you. Have you been all night? Meaning, come. Who are you to me? Are you my mother? Nelson, what has come over you? What? I mean, you're not even concerned with the fact I've been sitting down here waiting for you all night. Damn it! You came, you did not see me. Common sense tells you to drop a note and leave. Why are you talking like this? Nelson, what have I done to deserve this kind of uncaring treatment from you? What? Honey, you're supposed to be my boyfriend. Look, 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 Maureen. I'm not in the mood for all this now, okay? I just had a bad night, a terrible bad night out there. Okay? And I I'll just love it if you just leave me alone for a while. I want me to let you be. Have you ever paused for a moment to think of the things you do to me? I mean, despite the love and respect I show you. Listen, it's not fair. Look, you just had me right, okay? I told you I just want to be alone, okay? Give me a little space. Okay, good night. Didn't you hear me? Are you deaf? If I just, just leave my place. Maureen crying out there. Who's Maureen? Maureen? Oh. Mommy, man. I'm emotionally messed up right here, man. I'm, I'm crowded. My, my head is full. Oh, God. oh, come on, Nelson. Stop playing the fool. Stop playing stupid here, Nelson. Do you know how many guys out there who are killing themselves just to have Maureen shake their hands or just say hello to them? Yeah, she comes here every day, crying her house out for you. Nelson, think of all that girl has, has been through, all for you. Listen, she loves you. Imagine if she were your sister. Look at the way she's crying out there and refusing to let go. All because of you, Nelson. Man, man, man. I just, I just, I just want to be left alone now. That, that's all, man. I have so much on my mind. My mind is crowded. Then bring her in and share it with her. What are friends for? 
Make it up to her, Nelson. What for? Come on. Where are you going? To bring her in, of course. She can't be out there all alone. No, no, don't! Give me a break. Time to play the man and leave him. Look, I, I'm sorry what happened. Just that I, just that I am having some family problems and. Is that it? That's what you couldn't tell me. I fell out with my dad some hours ago on the phone. I mean, I mean, things didn't work out the way I was expecting them, and so I, I just felt foolish, as in I shouldn't have spoken to him all the same, you know. So I, I lost my cool, you know. I'm sorry. I'm... And then you shouted at me. You pushed me out. I asked me to leave you alone. Now, since you've been so cold to me, you, I don't know. You've just been. So non challenge towards me, I don't know what I've done. Tell me, what is it a girl can give to you that not give it to you? What? I'm sorry, just... Sorry. It won't happen again, okay? Stop crying, okay? Wipe your tears. I promise, look, it will never happen again. Oh, sometimes uh, you get wrong with things and come at the wrong time. And, I promise, Jesse, this is this. But, why did you call me? Did I call you anything? What, no. what? You called me Jesse. Who is Jesse? Of course, there's no Jesse anywhere. It's just, I mean, man, I didn't call you. You called me Jesse. No, Jessie. I did not. I mean, just, I mean, you guys are crowding me, man. Everybody's driving me crazy. I'm not deaf. You called me Jesse. God damn it. Maureen. There's no way I could have called you Jesse. God knows it. Just that. I'm sorry. Honey, look, I know you've been through a lot for me. Okay? And I, I, I know we've come a long way. Just just don't. Don't let us fall out there. I'm sorry. I still love you. You love me, you don't show it. Jesse, you don't show it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Come in. and come in when I please. What is it? Your spirit seems low. I'm fine. And I'm just tired. As you can see, I was getting ready for bed before you came in. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry I bothered you. It's just that I haven't seen you for a while and I had to come and see what you've been up to. How is it any of your business what I have been up to? I beg your pardon? Steve, look, I'm not in the mood for conversations right now, all right? So please, if you'll just leave me alone. Maureen, are you asking me to leave? I don't know how else to tell you this. But can't you see this thing isn't working out between us? What, are you that blind? Besides, right now I'm in a very, very, very bad mood. Blind, Maureen? After all we've been through together? After all I've done for you, Maureen? Why are you talking like this? Oh, just, just leave me the hell alone. Alright, I have problems of my own. 
This is not a good time. Not a good time. Maureen, when is a good time? I fought for you. I lied for you. I stood there in the dark with you when all your friends deserted you and wouldn't lift a finger to help you. What I did for you, Maureen, most husbands wouldn't do it for their wives. I sacrificed my pride for you, Maureen. What is there in love that isn't here at your feet? What is it? Yet you face me like this and you tell me to leave, to stay away from you. Maureen, look at my arm. Do you know how much pain I suffered because of you? Because of you, Maureen. I'm not ashamed of anything I've done for you. Because everything I did, I did for love. And if I ever do come back to this world again, I'll still love you. I knew from the start you would break my heart, but still I had to play this painful part. You wrap me around your little bitty finger with your magic smile. You kept me hanging on the lovers. Remember, this quiz covers 40% of your total marks in this course. You are to answer three questions in all. Is that clear to you? Yes, yes sir. Good. Now, if I find any cheating or combination of words, you are out of the class. No two ways about it. Did I make myself clear? Yes, yes sir. Good. For Department of Electronics, question one is very, very compulsory. And for those of you from Estant Management, you must answer question three. Then career of our students are to answer all the questions. Is it clear to you? Yes, yes sir. That's very good. The time duration for the quiz is one hour. You are very, very free to start. And I wish you good luck. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Jesse. Jesse, wake up. Jesse. Hello, what is it now? I'm feeling that I'm sick. Where's my inhaler? Maybe it's in your bag now. You better not be sick. Oh. Jesse, I just passed a faculty department and I saw your class having a piece with another. Yes. Quiz? Yes. No one told me anything about having a quiz today. You better hurry down because the piece is on and serious. Oh my god. Okay. I'm sick now. I'm sorry, sorry. <laughs> Coming from now, sir. I am coming for the class. I, I I didn't know it was here. That means you don't stay in class. Since how long have I been announcing this very quiz? Now look at the time. You are already 45 minutes late, and I'm collecting these papers in 15 minutes time. I didn't know there will be a quiz today. <laughs> that was very good. On graduation. You may explain that to the Senate. Now go to the park. Go to the park! You must stay alone and write, or you walk away 
and come back next year. The choice is very much yours. Come back here and take your first up there. If I hear or see you calling or disturbing any person again, you must have yourself to blame. For me to thank you. Um, it's okay. You were looking so messed up in there, I just had to know. Um, you're lucky to because I know very well and I'm a fast writer. How can I thank you? Today seems to me like Christmas. But don't worry about that. But you're not in my department, are you? No. It's about a cost. Well, you have to wake up and keep your eyes and ears in school. You may not be lucky next time. Thank you. Let me box you for your trouble. No. I was just telling you, I'm guilty. You're making me feel guilty. You are guilty. You are. Just um, read your handouts and stay close to school, okay? See ya. Cross. Hi, Jesse. Hi. It's you again. Oh, yes, it's me. You came to your hostel, didn't your friends tell you? I haven't seen them. Maybe they will. Jesse, it's not fair. I mean, I've been making efforts to see you. Look, look at the way you abandoned me and left with that man the other day, as if I don't have a feeling. Hey, look. I do whatever I like, and at my own convenience, okay? I am not out to please or play by anybody's rules. It's either you deal with it, or you walk on by like you don't know it. Come on, Jesse, why are you sounding hostile as if we are total strangers? So what do you want me to do? Bow down because you paid for my meal at the restaurant? And brought some items as gifts? I do more than that for people you know. Why are you making me feel like I'm wasting my time? Has it ever occurred to you that I like you? Why all this nasty behavior? Excuse me? Are you shouting at me? Are you calling me nasty? This is not necessary, Jesse, okay? I don't expect this. Whatever.
She's going to be all right, isn't she? She will. But it will take some time. Not only did you fail get to the delicate part of her lungs, it is a bad fail. I also noticed she is asthmatic. How on earth did she get into this? Eh? But there are a lot of filling stations around. Sir, blame it on fuel scarcity, which gave rise to the roadside fuel hawkers with adulterated products. Okay, okay, Doc, what do we do now? Can she be flown abroad? Medically for now, it is not necessary because she needs to maintain stable condition without unnecessary body movements. We have sucked out fuel droplets. All she needs is constant resuscitation and rest. Uh, thank you very much, Doc. But if, let me tell you something. If there is anything at all that will help improve her condition, please don't hesitate in letting me know. Okay? All right. A nurse will be with her at all time. Okay. When she gets better, stop her from drinking and smoking. I noticed that in her lungs. Excuse me, sir. Nurse, I think you're done. As you can see, I'm on my way out. It was not me, and it's never me. So go and better go and look for the father of your child. The, the allergy or sugar daddy that did that. You better go and see him. Not no allergy. More. What sugar daddy? You are responsible for this pregnancy. Do you understand? Get up and get out of my room. Let me tell you, you are not getting away with it this time. You did it once, and you're not going to get away with it the second time. You're going to take responsibility for this child. Says who? Says me. My friend, get out. I'm and let me warn you for the last time, oh. Let this be the last time you ever step my room. Or else I'll personally arrange your killing. Then you start killing me now. Start killing me now because I'm not leaving this room till you own up. You're daring me too much. Get out. I said leave my room. Leave me, leave me alone. Leave, leave me alone. No, leave me alone. Get out. Leave me alone. Get out. What's this? Can I tell me who's the father of your baby? Yo, yo, to do my love in this for real But you never understand what I mean Yo, to do my love in this for real But you never understand what I mean Yo, yo, to do my love in this for real But you never understand again for who is Nelson isn't it is Nelson right talk to me now it wasn't meant to happen I swear it was a mistake mistake indeed So how old is it? <laughs> About a <the> month. <laughs> and what do you intend to do now? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, now wow. So why did you do it? It is 
such a dangerous thing to do. I mean, how could you have done such a thing to yourself? Doctor, doctor, I had to. I just had to. I, I didn't have a choice. I was too scared. Now look at what you've done to yourself. Committing an abortion all by yourself with massive overdose of drugs. Doctor, is it that bad? I mean, the pregnancy is gone. What is really going yes. on? The pregnancy is gone. You see, we've done our scan and some necessary tests. She succeeded in removing the pregnancy violently. But um, I won't be seriously affected. What's wrong with my work? You see, young lady, the pills you took during this abortion severed and uh, affected some delicate parts of your womb. I'm sorry. I'm afraid you might have problem in getting pregnant in future. What? Yes. Doctor, uh, Doctor, wait. Be sure of this kind of things before you say them. Please. It's okay. Kate. Relax. Kate, my womb. No. My problem is that I went to my department. And I was told I missed three quiz of 40 marks each. Almost fainted. Imagine me spending extra year in this school. I can't, so God forbid. That reminds me. A girl in your class gave me some marked quiz. Yes. It's like you paid someone to date for you. Marked quiz? Yes. Let me see them. I have them in my bag. And they are all elective courses. These are the quiz I was told I missed. How come? And you did very well in all. So how many? Are you sure these are not fake? But they were signed by the lecturer. So it's either a ghost or you paid someone to date for you. We know you now you're a smart girl. You know what you can do. This must be a dream. Oh, wait a minute. I think I can recognize this handwriting. And what handwriting are you talking about? There is this guy that helped me out on a quiz once. Oh. The one that refused money and never asked for the other favor? Shut up. <laughs> this is the same script he gave me in the class, and I scored 31 out of 40. <laughs> Look, they are the same. You know that. Okay? So, see you around. Hey, wait! What do you mean, see you around? Can't I do something to thank you for all you've done for me? I don't even know your name. Well, my name is Steve, okay? And I can't change your attitude towards your studies, but I hope what you know that what you're doing is wrong, okay? I only helped you out of sympathy for a fellow student. Look, stop acting innocent. I mean, I, I really want to know you. You see, all you've done for me, even my own best friend couldn't do it. Well, we're schoolmates. Who knows, one day I might need your help. So, you had better start now, because I'm not going to let you leave this place without you telling me all about yourself. Are you going to force me? Let's see, I can try. You're always buying me things, not only things, expensive things. 
Why do you have to worry? It's my money. I am paying. So what? The fact that you come from a rich family doesn't mean you should go around throwing money about and taking me to places that are not even meant for students. 